With April being Earth Month, this is the best time to think about sustainability in the products that you use around your household. And joining me today is Janine, CMO at the City Moms. Hi, Janine. Hi there. Thanks <laughs> so, for having me. Yes, CMO is Chief Mom Officer, okay? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so you're here to show us some household swappability in yes. a way for sustainability. Yes. Yeah, so I'm excited to learn how we can just do better. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, <laughs> you said it, it's a April, Earth Month, great time to do that. And the very first thing that we want to start with is ditching the paper towels. Okay. So paper towels, um, there are some options for you where you can actually save up to 60 rolls in just one thing, and that's the Swedish dishcloth. Oh. So being able to replace those with this is going to make a huge impact almost right away. Now, I just want to say, we do still have a couple of paper towel rolls at home. <laughs> Sometimes you get those spills that you just need like a right, lot right. for. But regardless, these are really going to do that heavy lifting for you in place of that daily work. So wow. Swedish dishcloth, these are so easy to use. Mm -hmm. You can toss them in the um, top rack of the dishwasher when you're done if you oh. need them to clean. Okay. Um, these also are going to be biodegradable. Okay. So you can even put these in the trash once they've kind of gone through their life cycle, which is actually going to be up to nine months that oh. you can use this. And one other thing is don't use these for scrubbing because, you know, th those don't have like the scrubbers okay. on it. Okay. But regardless, for spills, for cleanup in the kitchen, all around the house, this is definitely going to be a great swap for you. Whew. Okay, because when you say paper, I'm a paper towel user, I know. I'm a heavy paper towel user. <laughs> I know, I am too. So, okay, so swapping it with this. Yes. This material is I very know. interesting. It is really wow. interesting. Absorbs well, this is like very kind of spongy, easily. Though. Yes, these are these, so these are slightly different options. Okay. You're gonna be able to find these honestly anywhere. So wow. grab these at Target. Okay. Um, you can find them at Walmart and at Meyer too. But you said something important. So these are not to be used as a sponge replacement or a scrubber. Correct. This is specifically for whatever you paper use towel. a paper towel yes, for. You got it. Exactly. I feel like this would absorb very well. Yes, it really does. And it's not going to leave it dripping and sopping yeah. either, which is really nice. Okay. So so that's swap one. Out the paper towels. Okay. Swap two. Swap two. Let's talk about getting rid of some of the plastics at home. Plastics. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. be the solution to plastic Pollution is kind of the buzz we're hearing a little bit <laughs> right. right now. And the idea is a refillable cleaning solution. Okay. These are popping up all over the place. So this is the Blue Land line. Mm -hmm. um, these actually just launched at Meijer. I grabbed these, I think, at the Container Store and at okay. Amazon. So oh, nice. you're going to find these everywhere. I love Amazon. The mm -hmm. nice thing about these is you're replacing all of that plastic that you have at home okay. with just a couple different bottles. And then oh. you are going to be the one responsible for refilling it. Right. So the refilling on these just comes in a tablet form, and this is my oh. um, surface cleaner. So you can see I actually don't, mm -hmm. I need some of this today. I have, I grabbed this before I left. Because I was going to say, so you buy the cleaning product, yes. and, then you, and then you pour it, but then I'm like, the plastic is right. still the plastic, so yes. this is interesting. Yes, okay. so what you can do is you're grabbing all these tablets, mm -hmm. and I mean, look at how much less space this is going to take right. up. So you're going to take this tablet, I'm going to put this right into my bottle. Oh, this is... Crumbling a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, break it up and put it going in Going to work like perfectly. Some alka seltzer. <laughs> so, right. So you're then going to use water. I mean, you can use, obviously, the, the faucet in your sink. Okay. You can use bottled water if that's what you have on hand. But you can just kind of see I'm just refilling this. And wow. this is going to last me now for about three weeks. Which is okay. perfect. So, the, and there's different types because I was going to say, okay, yes. of course you have your multi-purpose yep. cleaner, which is what you just used. Yes. But then there are specific cleaners to hand soap. Yep. Bathroom cleaner. Yep. And then glass Foaming. as well. Wow. So our hand soap, um, you know, this is a nice glass bottle. We've it got is. this in all of our, our bathrooms at home. Mm -hmm. But it's just such a great way to, again, get rid of that plastic kind of at home. Um, the other thing that's happening a lot around the country are you're going to see actual refillery businesses and store locations popping up. Oh, so that you don't so, have to do the work. <laughs> exactly. So you can actually okay. either drop off or mm -hmm. they'll drop off to you. They'll refill. And it's a really simple solution, too. I so. like that. And that, I feel like it's a fun activity, you know, yeah. even for your family or teaching your kids My about kids love sustainability. Doing it. Right. You can yes. say, okay, let's make soap today. Let's exactly. make a cleaning product. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So that's tip two. And Love then it. Okay. Let's go over to tip three. Tip three. Our last swap is reusable period products. Okay. So we're really seeing these become mm -hmm. such a popular um, option for teens yes. and um, women in kind of their, their late teens and their early 20s. Mm -hmm. Great way to obviously kind of kick out some of that waste. 
And again, we found these at Target. Um, you'll find them literally everywhere that you shop, oh. um, even in the grocery stores and some grocery stores. So they're coming in multiple yeah. different kind of options. What you've got are the reusable period underwear. That I've can, heard of these. Yeah, okay. Those get tossed right into the wash and um, can wash right up. This is something that my teen daughter and her friends are using constantly right now. Really? So yep. it absorbs, so the, basically the pad is built into exactly. the actual underwear. Yes. And so it kind of eliminates those disposable items that you typically yes. have to store and travel with. And, exactly. Huh, okay. Yeah. And so that makes another really huge impact, um, not only on waste, but the nice thing with these, kind of a mini investment up front. Yeah. Um, but then you don't have to make those investments then every monthly down the road, so. Yeah, okay. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Janine. Yes, absolutely. For sharing about this. And of course, you're a part of City Moms, The City Moms, and you all have all of these resources on your website, plus we so much more. We do. We've got 10 sustainable swaps you can make at home up on the site today. Uh -huh. So definitely check out so you can grab a few more ideas. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And listen, these are some really cool tips today, just learning how we can make little bitty changes at home that can really impact our environment. If you want more information about the City Moms, we'll have it listed below, and we'll be right back.